Once upon a time, fighting games were not as hot as they are right now. So at the time, SNK was testing waters with many different genres and IPs. This was an interesting point for the company, with many creative titles and new ideas. Doki Doki Majo Shinpan was not one of those, but it is related to this other game, Kimi no Yusha, a JRPG for the Nintendo DS. And before you ask, no, this game is not about little girl's panties or anything like that. Both games share the same character designer, Fujinomiya Mimori, whose first work for SNK was Twinkle Star Sprites in 1996. It feels like this game was made out of a bunch of scrapper ideas and recycled assets. Just take a look. This waitress catch girl is supposed to be a super badass mercenary. This maid is supposed to be a mermaid princess. And this is supposed to be a freaking dwarf! Nevertheless, those unusual character designs kinda worked in this game's favor. For instance, I would never guess that the legendary hero is this feminine boy wearing a sailor school uniform. Too bad he's kind of a douche. But thankfully, he is not the main character. You play as Tio, a young rich girl who dreams of becoming the legendary hero's sidekick. She meets the young hero Wonder, and the two go on a journey to defeat the Devil King, recruiting many new allies along the way. This is a pretty standard fantasy RPG setting. The story is nothing to write home about. But it's not like it's bad or anything. It's just okay. The same goes for everything else in the game. The music is average at best. There are just a few voice clips and only for battles. And while the 2G sprite-based graphics look nice, they are far from being among the best on the DS library. The battle system is what has the most potential in the game. The turn-based battles take place in both screens at the same time, giving plenty of space for some dynamic action. There is also a combo system. Which combines your character's special skills and makes enemies fly around the screen like balls. This is pretty cool, but unfortunately, your special attacks will only connect with each other at random. This means that you can't control the best thing about this battle system, so it's a huge waste. Each chapter can take from 30 minutes to 1 hour to complete, and there are many side quests too. And those are not just simple fetch quests, they have a lot of story content, and each can take around 30 minutes to complete. Aside from that, there are certain parts in the game where you need to grind at least a little. In other words, this is not a short game. You can even take more than 100 hours to complete everything. Kimi no Yusha has a lot of charm, but it doesn't stand out on anything. Even so, you might be interested in this game if you are a huge fan of retro RPGs or if you are an SNK fan. After all, this is an interesting piece of history for that company. And that's it for this review. But if you have more questions about Kimi no Yusha or any other Japanese game, just leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.